What's up guys and welcome back to another tutorial. I'm Seven Beats and today I'm gonna to create an Emma Piano beat just using stock plugins. If you're interested in the samples which I'm using, make sure to check out the link in the description. It includes all the samples which are used in this tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So in this case, I'm going to create a really chill Emma Piano beat using a BPM of 113 and I'm going to use direct wave and I'm using this electric piano. So right now I'm gonna play a chord progression. So this is the chord progression. I'm going to make a little adjustment. So I'm going to drag it to the right a half a bar, make the note shorter, use a strumizer, pressing Alt S. I'm going to also randomize the velocity of the keys. Something like this. All right, now we're going to add the typical Emma Piano shake a loop. Emma Piano sample pack. I want to use this one. As you can see, it's already time stretched to the tempo of the project. Also added the second one, which is a free drum loop, link is in the description. Made some adjustments to the volume of the sample. So right now I'm gonna pick a kick. This one, using this four by four pattern. Adding some more percussions. This one. This one. This one. Creating a pattern using the thumb. Right now I'm going to add a rim shot. Already has that Emma Piano feeling. So until now it sounds like this. Adding some more swing, 20%. All right, now we're going to add Morphin. So I'm using this one. So I'm using one short note and one longer one. Linking it to the mixer, removing the low frequencies, and just adding some reverb. So I'm going to use the fruity reverb too. Fire. All right, now I'm gonna use the GMS. Also contains some awesome plugins for Emma Piano. I think I'm going to use, so I'm going to use this Midnight 2 TE preset and also just using the root note. So that's D. Creating a four bar pattern like this. Also has a lot of reverb and delay, fire. And right now we're gonna add the lock drum. So I'm going to use the Fruity DX10. And if you're a Logic or Ableton user, I've sampled some of those DX10 lock drum samples. Those one. Really easy to use in one of your projects. Right now I'm going to use some of the presets. The lock drum preset six. I think this one sounds really cool. Turn up the velocity to 100%. I think this is already a really low key, so I'm going to use the C, and then just two bars, A. I'm going to add something to add some more variety to the beat, so I'm going to use one fourth step, and create this lock drum roll. Just play around with the velocity, like this. So this is as simple as it gets. So right now I'm going to add the typical Emma Piano effect and create a simple arrangement. So this is just a final simple arrangement. Make sure to download this free FLP and just do whatever you want with it. 
So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up and also make sure to download this free FOP. The link is in the description. And I hope to see you guys in one of my next tutorials.